Well, congratulations. How are you feeling? Fantastic. Who am I looking at? Over here. I got you. <laughs> I should be the only one in here that's a woman. But, um, so can you just talk to me about that fight? What was the, what was the feeling like in there? Was it great to be back? Um, 100%. It was fantastic to be back into the octagon after uh, what seems like a long time. It's been a year and a half. I had a couple surgeries that I had to get done. Uh, now that I'm back, I feel more confident, stronger, and better than I ever had before. And when I stepped into that octagon, honestly, it felt like I'm starting to belong there. What was that time off like? Um, Eye-opening. I had a lot of mental therapy while I was through it with Micah, and love Micah. Um, he coached me through a lot of things that I use every single day throughout my whole life, and it's given me a better insight on life because I'm not focused on anything but moments, like individual sections of my life. So it's really, really beneficial to me. Had you anticipated the fight going the way that it did? No, I anticipated beating him up, knocking him out. Uh, when he fell with the first punch, I thought, like, there you go, there it is. I, I knew that he would crumble when I hit him because I saw in every one of his fights that when he gets touched, he cowers, he gets scared, he handcuffs himself, he gets rocked, and I, I know how hard I hit. So... I thought when I landed that, that was it. He fell to the ground, and I was like, oh, it's over. But then he started moving, and I was like, ah, and I grabbed him real quick. <laughs> so besides that, was there anything about him that surprised you in there? Maybe, he, uh, you know, was he a harder hitter or less? No. So I'm going to be very honest. What surprised me is that he, in his fights, he's hurt people with body kicks. But when he kicked me to the body, I felt nothing, like not even a tickle, nothing. So I feel like he didn't have anything to offer to me. So you mentioned in, um, in your post fight that you, that you don't like hurting people, that you would rather be doing something else. What, what is it that you would prefer to be doing or, or what is it that you look ahead at as your goal? Uh, so that's, that's a good question. I think after, like say this is all said and done, that would be what I focused on. I think the gaming industry, and I know this is weird, but they, the gaming industry has more money than movies and music combined, and that's insane. So I love to game because it allows me to engage with my fans and be like, you know, we're, we're playing something personal and, and fun and engaging together, and I love talking to people. So I would probably like to start my own podcast, do a little gaming, kick partner, uh, and then teach. I like teaching. But I want to teach advanced people. You, the keep, people that suck need to stay away from me. I'm, I'm not trying to teach beginner stuff. So before you got back here, we all guessed what your answer would be. And two of us got it right. Oh. Who, who follows me as a gamer then? Well, Jake picked hey. gamer. I said teacher. So you said both. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so... Um, Looking forward, how active do you want to be? When would you like to get back in there? And, and do you have an opponent in mind? Um, I don't have an opponent in mind. It's, it's kind of uh, they give and I take. It's pretty much whatever name pops up in the, the menu here. Um, I would like to fight two more times at least, uh, summer and winter. Um, that's it, really. I don't care who it is. It's, it, days go by. Someone's name will pop up and I'll just fight them. Do you have a location in mind? A lot of fighters are eager to fight outside of Vegas, outside of the Apex. Does that? As long as I'm not paying double taxes, I'm chilling. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Congrats on the big win. They, I don't know if you guys got to talk about it backstage and, or saw the, the graphic, but you are now tied with uh, Renato Moicano with the four fight win streaks. Oh, snap. Moicano. <laughs> That's amazing. That's, that's awesome. That's a, an amazing, absolutely right. That's a fantastic way to come back. And that's just what they said October 2022 to return and really put people on notice, tie him with that four fight win streak, and also get a finish. I mean, how much better could you have returned? You can't. I mean, unless that, that cross knocked him out and it was like a walk off knockout, that would have been the only way that's gets better. I know that uh, Philly Fresh was calling, like, on, he tweeted that you're about to, you know, just finish him. I'm not in those exact words, but, how, you know, I know you're itching to get it back in there. You're excited. You know, you might even have the butterflies again. And when you dropped them in the first, 
How hard was it to stay composed and not go crazy with the finish? So I'm not an amateur, and when I drop somebody, I'm all about composure. I need to know how and where to pick my shots and how to finish you. And if you, know, you rock somebody and you start flurrying, if they were not as rocked as you thought, you're going to get knocked out. You're going to get countered and knocked out. So when I dropped him to the floor, I did notice uh, he wasn't knocked out. When I, when I started to approach him. So instead of me trying to like swing like crazy, I just gathered myself and gained a dominant position. Absolutely. Let me circle back to what you mentioned earlier, with Amy, this mental aspect, because this is crucial, this is key, but it's not something we hear as much as we would like with, to, to hear from fighters. How were you able to develop that, integrate that into your game and, and make it a, maybe even a priority to get your mind right before you step into this cage? Oh my God, mental, without, your mind being right, uh, going into the cage m means nothing, to be honest. Um, and we're all UFC fighters, we all have access to Micah, and Micah has been my mental therapist for years to come now. Uh, he has changed my game 100%. He's the one that made me get confidence in myself, and now I'm ready to, you know, start this climb. That's awesome, man. Thank you for sharing that. Now, I mean, uh, putting it all together is an understatement because now you did those surgeries and you healed up. I mean, your body needed it clearly, but how, how good was that for you to be like, okay, I, maybe this is part of the plan to where I need to step away for a little bit because there's a couple things I need to, to get lined up properly before. Yeah, you I, I am a firm believer in the universe um, working as it should, when it should. And I know that some people's careers skyrocket into oblivion and some, you know, are really slow, like mine, mine's really slow, but I'm on a good path. I, I'm still young, I feel young, I feel great, and I have a lot of time to solidify myself as one of the greats. For sure, my man, and good luck on that goal. I hope you achieve it. Uh, speaking of one of the greatest, Max Holloway has a big following on the gamer side. I know y'all about the. To... Now we talk all the time. How how awesome is that, right? You have a colleague right there, same weight class right now, because he's going at you know five oh, yeah. at three hundred. That you have someone right there to kind of be like, all right, let me get this little lane going. Let me yeah. get back off of that success. Do my thing. You see the video we made with uh, Mark Zuckerberg, me, Max Holloway, and Mark Zuckerberg. That's crazy. Yeah, it's insane. That's... So uh, yeah, no, um, Max streams on Kick. I just moved over to kick. I jump in his stream all the time. He recognizes me and acknowledges me as a great fighter. And, you know, um, hopefully we can get in some games and grow together on kick. Man, with somebody like that, Phil, it just, the sky's the limit. It truly Congrats. is. Yes, sir. Congrats on the win, on the finish, and welcome back. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sure. Mike, right here. Just two, quest two quick questions. Yeah, yeah. What's your favorite game, and what game are you currently playing right now? Oh, man. The favorite game have to be relative like right now i like the last of us but the game that got me into like the game that saved my life was halo Ooh. and uh what am i playing right now uh, a little mixture of everything but come on it's hell divers <laughs> for democracy <laughs> yes sir <laughs> how, how did it you good uh, no now we're fighting over who gets to ask <laughs> Chris, how you said that that game saved your life. Can you elaborate what you mean by that? Yeah, yeah. So when I grew up as a kid, I was, I, I'm, I'm from upstate New York. And as you can probably guess, there's not a lot of black people. So I got picked on a lot. And I was also really small, um, like a, a tiny child. So I got stuffed in lockers, um, man called names, picked up. I got picked up and put in the basketball, but I got picked on. And a lot of the times I would find myself in like the bathroom, uh, trying to inflict pain on myself. Uh, I would shoot, I would take a rubber band with uh, toothpicks and shoot them into my leg. That could cause me pain. Um, I didn't have friends. I didn't, I really didn't. And what saved my life was after school, I would go home, I would turn on the Xbox that I, I was gifted from my mom. It was amazing, she worked hard to get it. And I got Halo and I met friends, I met friends uh, in the area, I met friends across the globe, and every day, the only thing that made me want to keep going was to jump on Halo and play with my friends. Have you shared that story before? I think one time. How, how do you feel looking back now, like accomplishing what you are in MMA? How do I feel? Yeah. <laughs> Better than them. <laughs> Probably. Uh, it's crazy because I still talk to, I think, almost all of them. There's like 
one or two that kind of fell off, but I, they, they reach out, I'll guarantee you, I look at my phone, there'll be a message from them, and it's amazing, because we're all grown-ups now. We're all literally double the age we were before, and yeah, life is crazy. But the, the, the people that were calling you names and whatever. No, no, those, those, oh, and those people, those people too. I got messages from them all the time. I, I had apology messages and everything. But I'm talking about the people that I have oh, seen Oh, your life. friends on the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What, what do the people say when they're reaching out, even if they were mean to you back in the day? Oh, there's the, all the apologies. Hey, hey, Mike, sorry for picking on you back in the day. You knew I was only trying to help you grow into a better man. And, and bro, it's been they're dumb. Just off to free it's tickets. dumb stuff. They want free tickets. I don't care. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Congrats. Thank you. Cool. Thank you guys.